these are the NeoPixel LED strips that I got from Spark Fun. They are individually addressable, so I was able to get the exact colors that I want. So you can see that most of them are white, but I have some magenta in there mixed it with some blue. So you can see in a reflection on this cover here. I soldered them all together. I'll add programmed it with the Arduino. And then these other LEDs, they aren't even hooked up. I just use this now that I have the this strip to cover up the LED strips. So I don't get a lot of light leakage and then I can concentrate my light. I even have some footage of when I was developing this. It's junky right now, but I'm working on something where basically I control some lights based on some time. So I want them to come on and off at certain times. Right now, I have this slider that changes the frequency. Except if I have it all the way here, all the way up, it's on. If I put it all the way down, it'll go off. And depending on where I slide it here is the interval between toggling the light. So it should come on soon. I'm not viewing the console right now, so I can't tell what the actual setting is right now. Let's see. Let me move it down. And I haven't finished the code, so it doesn't it probably doesn't even know what the watch time is. There's a time to watch for, which is determined by this slider. Well, an actual hours time I was going to use, but I have it down to minutes right now. So you have that time, and then once it reaches the um, the watch time reaches the hour, the hour time reaches the watch time in seconds, whatever. The light will toggle. I don't know if it's working. Let's wait. I don't think it's resetting though. There you go. So I'm just gonna move it on over to a pie and see. I might still use this one for something though. So this is another stage of the development. This is when I actually started to program the lights and you can see all the white or blue lights here it's really hard to tell so I think I had some magenta in there and I thought they were pretty bright but I ended up having to go back and buy more strips that's why you can tell I used a lot of different strips on here and this is basically to power the strips so I had this little board here proto board and I hooked up everything and I did a terrible job on the soldering but I was able to make sure that my lights worked before I actually hooked it up to the Arduino well it was already hooked up before I hooked it up to the aquarium but this is what it ended up looking like in the end This is the original relay that I used when it was just an Arduino. But then I used this one that has an always off and an always on side where I can just plug it right into my wall, basically. And then I have a switch. I have the Raspberry Pi and the switch is connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. And I have the Arduino. 
and basically they talk back and forth together because I used the Arduino specifically for the lights and I used the Raspberry Pi so that I can go to a web API and get the sunset and sunrise times for my local area. So the lights actually come on and off based on sunset and sunrise in my time. And this is that power port for the lights. The switch is so that I'm able to turn the lights on after sunset. And at sunrise, it fades up. Sunset, it fades down. And basically keep my lights lit for my aquarium. This has been running for um, maybe almost two years, at least over a year. And I haven't had any real problems. The only thing is I have this log file that's logging every time it checks, which is maybe every couple minutes, you know, to check whether or not the light should be on or off. And I just hope it doesn't um, fill up my Raspberry Pi because I didn't use a lot of storage. But there you have it. I control my aquarium lights with an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi.